are these not Y2K aesthetic or what? I think the beanies kind of make my head look like an egg. I look like somebody's Easter basket and people want some. Okay, girlies, we're ready to go. I'm May. Hey, I'm Vivian, and we are trying That's So Raven inspired outfits for a whole week. I was a huge Disney Channel girl growing up. In the world of Hannah Montana's and Lizzie McGuire's, we had That's So Raven. And it was such a big deal for me growing up because finally I saw a young black female as the main character on a Disney Channel show. It was my biggest dream to do like that. Hey, I'm May, and you're watching Disney Channel. And then, uh, you know, you know the thing. Anyways, I loved that so Raven. I remember singing the theme song in my head on the way to the school bus, like, that's so Vivian, it's the future I can see, but I never really saw the future, but just, it goes. I think a lot of these like early 2000s trends are coming back really strong. So hopefully it won't be that hard. Raven Baxter's style was definitely bold. I'm pretty sure I'll probably DIY a thing or two because she was a fashion designer, fashion designer in training one day. I got, I got to make it work. I'm gonna be recreating Chelsea's looks and I'm super excited. The first outfit we got is this like all red, honestly kind of on trend outfit, like a plaid skirt. We have like a red shirt with like a flaming vintage car. I am balling on a budget right now, so I'm gonna check Amazon. Perfect. I need some tights, just some black. Like, that might be the one. This is the iconic That's So Raven look. The this, she loves purple. And I like purple, so that'll be fun. Instead of a sequin flower, because I'm never gonna wear a shirt with a sequin flower. <laughs> That's my style. I'm gonna get like a decal or like a patch that I can put on this shirt. These jeans are so fun. It kind of looks like something she could have made. Day one, looking like Chelsea, I'm so excited. I'm wearing a red plaid pleated skirt, a long sleeve red race car top. Looks a lot like the one that she had. And then just some black tights and that's it. So it's pretty simple, but I think it's really cute. It looks pretty identical. I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like this is one of those outfits that every piece individually is still honestly pretty trendy. It's just the way that it's styled that's different, but it's kind of cool how like those trends have carried over. I thought I would start with the most iconic outfit that she wore. It's a little bit bulkier than my style. I like stuff that's like more form fitting. Are these not Y2K aesthetic or what? So I'm gonna wear it like this, and then I'm gonna boom. This is the shirt, this is the patch, and I have it inside out. I'm gonna put it like right here. I think the pants, by far, my favorite thing. The jacket's a bit more oversized than what I would normally wear. Also, I tried to keep my makeup pretty simple because Raven Baxter is like 14, 15, 16 in the show, so she wasn't doing the most. I think this first outfit was a total success. I even got a compliment from an eight-year-old and that just meant so much to me. It's a whole cast photo, so we've got everybody on board, but she's wearing like these like split hem kind of flare jeans, which, Flare jeans are definitely coming back. I'm not normally um, a beanie gal because I think my beanies kind of make my head look like an egg. But for Chelsea, I'll do anything. I think I'm gonna go with the Levi's one just because I know Levi's, we love her. This is really giving me early 2000s. I'm gonna add these to my cart. The second look, she's also wearing the double buns. I don't know where the heck she found this jacket, but it is fire. It's a long duster coat, which is definitely a part of her style. I feel like this definitely represents who she is as a fashion designer and training. This doesn't have as many colors as hers did, but I feel like the style is really similar. I like the little waist belt situation, that's cute. I'm here for the style. I feel like this is a good color and it matches the outfit with the snakeskin print jacket. So for the day two look, we're wearing these honestly really cute flare jeans, which have made a huge comeback. And I think it's really interesting because you would have gotten literally destroyed for wearing flare jeans like three years ago. But now everybody wants to hate on skinny jeans which were like the coolest thing for a while. Each of the pieces are fine on their own. I'm actually really excited about the pants, but the way that it's styled is just so early 2000s. Without the beanie, it's cute. Look at the flares. Oh my God, I literally love these pants. I love them. The look I'm recreating for this outfit has a lot going on. It's not multicolor like hers is, but I think this is pretty close. And I love 
this furry. These jeans, I am really impressed. Forever 21 sustainable line, y'all did the damn thing. I feel like my version was so sassy, so sophisticated, so me. I love it so much. The next one is really just highlighting this incredible sweater. I'm obsessed with it. These are literally perfect. That outfit complete. This photo I'm looking at has Raven in between her two best friends. I feel like this is gonna be the easiest look to recreate. Oh, this is so cute. It's definitely giving me clueless vibes, which I'm all the way here for. It's not the same sort of pattern as the one that Raven Baxter wears, but the colors are the same. So I'm gonna do like a, a light chiffon scarf, like this red one. You know, something simple. And yes, it's a skinny jean and it's not exactly like the jeans she was wearing, but like, it, again, inspired outfits. I think this is close enough. This is one of the most simple ones, but I think it's also one of the cutest and definitely still something that's on trend right now. I think I nailed this one. The bangs, the clip, the necklace, it's all there. Am I giving you early 2000s high school vibes? I would 100% wear this outfit again. And though I don't know about these particular clips, the style, I'm taking with me because I think this looks so cute. Like having it a little pulled back, really highlights the bang. I love it. This is totally something I wanna wear and I'm excited to wear again. I got this packet of flower hairpins because Raven wears a bunch of flower hairpins. More specifically, I have this red one. Raven was all about the matchy matchy life. You know, like everything was color coordinated to the T. I love this one. You don't need anything cropped like to our or anything, but laying right at the pants, you know? That's perfect. White collared shirt for women. Another easy Amazon find, I feel like. Literally like not even two seconds into my search, I feel like I found them. This last outfit is going to be tricky. So she's wearing a lime green jacket that is definitely duster length, and it has white embroidered flowers on it, but then she also has lime green pants. Ooh, this is this is a very bold look. I don't know if I will find anything remotely similar color-wise. This is definitely more in line with what she's wearing. Another day, another questionable that's a raven outfit. Today we're getting into business chic. Now she had her white shirt on top. I definitely had a user error of making this too short. I think it looks a lot better. Tucked in, even though it's maybe not identical, it's the exact same vibe. I think she'd be okay with like the improv of the tuck. I'm obsessed with these pants. It's the flare. I'm telling you, the flare really does it. No unboxing today because the box never came. So I went to Goodwill and this is what I've got. This is a men's shirt. It's definitely way oversized, but I'm gonna try and style it as if it were like a blazer jacket situation. All of those hairpins I bought, they also have a safety pin at the back. So I'm going to safety pin these to kind of have like that embroidered flowery thing that she has going on on her green blazer. I made this work. Considering the circumstances, shout out to Goodwill, shout out to last minute finds. I don't know what it is about this outfit, but I literally walked into Whole Foods and then into CVS and got so many compliments and literally three people asked me out. We have this all yellow monochrome fit, which is super in. I feel like of That's a Raven, though I love Chelsea, love her looks, Raven was really the fashion icon of the show and that's kind of a deniable, but I will be her sidekick for today. This first one is so perfect. Okay, easy, that's good. These ones don't have a pattern, but they're like almost the exact same color and I think they'll have the right cut. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do this outfit. She has her signature color. She's wearing denim like she always does. But on her jeans, she has that same purple color and it's like painted on, I love you, I love you, kind of like graffiti style. I think this is gonna be such a cool look to recreate. I probably won't do purple because 
I want to be able to wear these outfits again and purple's not really my color per se so I think I might just do white but I'm definitely gonna try and DIY those jeans because they look so cute I feel like this is a great base for me to DIY I think when it comes to the cuffs I'll get some cuffs and like faux fur that I can take on and take off that way if I do want to wear the jacket again like this I don't have to like glue or unglue or any of that stuff. Today is the final day of dressing like that's a raven and I'm kind of disappointed. This has been really fun because it's making me expand my wardrobe. Like a lot of the stuff I would never buy. Nailed it, over 10 out of 10. Just kidding, the pants could be better and I know that, but pretty good. The pants that I bought, they are like raw hem so they're a little bit tapered, but I folded them a couple of times so it gives it more of the capri look. Not to be cocky or anything, but we did that. This is the denim jacket. It is from Tan Ming. I love. On Raven's long denim jacket, she has purple faux fur around the collar and the sleeve. I can wear this on so many different things. Like, this can be multi-purpose. And then, <laughs> I didn't know this existed, but also on Amazon, I found the sleeves. Raven's wearing a purple top that matches the purple faux fur of her coat. So I want to do the same with the white just to like be consistent. So on Raven's jeans, you see I love you in a couple different ways on the pant and it's painted. So I'm going to paint over this with white and so that you see the I love you once I take off the painter's tape. These came out so freaking cute. I feel like I really paid homage to Raven Baxter of That's So Raven because this is totally something she would have done. Like, for all we know, she DIY'd the pants that she's wearing. So that felt cool that it came out well. I think it was really nice kind of pushing myself and getting things that I would never normally order. Honestly, a lot of the products I'm definitely keeping and gonna incorporate into my everyday wardrobe. I think it's also just really fun to get nostalgic and kind of bring in things that I liked when I was younger into my life now. I think Raven proved that it doesn't matter what your race is, it doesn't matter what your size is, you can be bold and confident and beautiful and hilarious and amazing. Just be yourself. Thanks for watching. My name's May and you're watching Disney Channel.